Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome to a let's play of Serena. Now, I'm signing off in this main menu here because when I start the game and it madly jumps into the game, it doesn't go like to a main menu, so. Don't know much about this game, so I figure I'd give it a shot and see what this is about. Huh. What the? Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? Hmm. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. Hmm. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. A lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one Serena enjoyed spice in her life. I preferred it more bland. And they're so different on some points. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Hmm. It when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Hmm. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship. Especially in the intimacy of this cabin. Hmm. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Hmm. Okay, so what am I looking for? What the? Peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the land of youth and promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Hmm. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? Hmm. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. She adored all things of nature, 
I remember her long walks out in the woods. She is fairly religious, not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard, but I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. I highly doubt that. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. Hmm. Nothing here. What am I looking for? Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Okay. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? She also had a brush. But I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. <coughs> hmm. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. Hmm. What the? Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Aww. It's been so long since I said her name out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her. When she told me... The soothing sound of her name. Hmm. Oh. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Hmm. What else am I looking for? The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. 
chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one no I don't want to leave right now there's still something for me in here yeah but what though In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there, just more creepy floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? And no trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her, there are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Hmm. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Again, what am I missing? Mm. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hon. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Hmm. Why am I... There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. Dearest, and then... Okay, what am I looking for? The only thing that I haven't opened yet is this chest. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Oh, come on. Mm. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was, or is. I just don't know anymore. Our dining table, quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hmm. Again, what am I looking for? A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Well, that was random. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? 
No. Of course not. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Hmm. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a long time ago. For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. One of a matching pair, obviously. There was a piece of gum stuck to the underside of this chair back when we bought this place. We just left it there. Again, what am I looking for? I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. For all the charm of furniture like this... What the... Something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. The guy who snapped this? Our host that night? My love, we don't have a lot of folks. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Her face appeared. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? Okay, what happened? What's that crying? Okay, something happened. She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to. She just did it. I've been so immature about these. Even resorted to the old pill under the tongue trick more than a few times. She deserved better. Please take it. It's not just that I worry about you. I don't want to bury my pig-headed husband. Uh-oh. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Hmm. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Hmm. But what triggered that to happen? 
How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. That ticking, it never stops. I've wasted so much time. What? Did I ever take a break to show her how much I truly cared? What's going on? That incessant noise. I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Hello. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from her. I guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Being unfair, but I have wanted her to be so frump. Too angry to even care. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. Okay. fine work like I know anything about handicrafts but it's what the Empress wanted to hear wasn't it why torture myself trying to remember huh changeable man insolent wretch <laughs> sounds like Serena all right when did that change her father's realm she was a daughter of the Celtic sea god, Mananon... What was it? Machler? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananon, was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahajidanan. I'm too upset to even think straight. What the... It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. A jewelry box. What is it doing here? I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once. But a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? 
They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Wow. This where she kept her secrets. I should take a look inside. Where to put it? Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a we weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I hate her so much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Oh. She's angry now. And part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? Uh, are you sure she's the one that did that? Then you're not just in a denial. I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. That answer that question. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? I'm too upset to even think straight. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I hate her so much. All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. Part of me still thinks you'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Okay. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. I torture myself trying to remember. I want to hurl the whole damn lot into the lake. Or just tear at the pages until the wind sweeps them away. Some of these started a mildew long ago. Nothing gold can stay. Frost. 
All oh, those words, those damn words. My whole life's been consumed by them. Now I have none left to say. I'm too upset to even think straight. Hmm. I hate her so much. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. Hmm. Oh. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. The hell happened here? slept I would have been at rest my own dark world barely alive is this my eternal punishment those noises sound like more than one person who can it be the police are they coming for me I deserve it but I want to see who it is first there's something about those voices. I must know. The window. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, it couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. We spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. What the... Oh, shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. Not like this. Please. Let me go. Please. Let me go. Okay, um, that was a bit interesting, um, kind of shocking, and I don't know, I mean, 
So that body was not the wife, but was that him then? And he was just a ghost? Hmm. I mean, that seems to be logical. I mean, then again, I have no idea, but... Anyway... That was Serena, and it's uh, available on Steam. I think it's a free game, if I'm not mistaken, but... If you want to give it a try and see for yourselves, go right ahead, but... In any case, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've been enjoying as much as I've... Oh. Oh, that's cool. Mm, sorry. <coughs> anyway, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe for more video updates, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.